Innovation has been the lifeblood for Ralph's and Food for Less for decades. Our companies under the Kroger banner have been and will continue to be the driving force in new technologies and innovation within the supermarket industry. Today, we are once again standing on the threshold of incredible advancements that will play a critical role in how we better serve our customers and further our commitment to preserving and maintaining our environment. Ralph's and Food for Less, supported by our parent company Kroger, have partnered with Feed Resource Recovery Incorporated to do what no other supermarket chain or food distributor in the world has been able to do. Not only manage organic solid waste, but profit from it. For the past 10 years, all of the food from the supermarkets that could not be sold or donated have been brought back here to the distribution center. From here, that food was aggregated and sent to a composter in Bakersfield six times per day for over 1,200 miles of diesel truck traffic. This was a significant cost to the environment and also the company. What my company, Feed, brought to Ralph's and Food for Less was the ability to take all of that material and produce a renewable energy here on site for their own use. Over the last four years, we have developed a first-of-its-kind, state-of-the-art facility to manage resources to handle food that could not be sold or donated to food banks, soup kitchens, or shelters. Then recover energy from that food to power our facilities, produce natural biogas that augments our natural gas consumption by 95%, supply 20% of electricity used by our facilities, capture previously unused energy from heat, heat and repurpose industrial wastewater for use in plant processes, purify water before it's returned to the environment, and produce nutrient-rich organic fertilizers. Here at Ralph's and Food for Less, we are always looking for ways to run our business more efficiently and support the environment and the local community. This is one of those special projects that helps us do all of that. The Resource Recovery Project enables us to reduce our costs while providing clean energy that helps us run our facilities right here on site. The partnership for this project is providing an 18.5% return on investment, making it a win not only for our company, but for our customers and the environment as well. In the United States alone, it's estimated that 66 billion pounds of food products are dumped into landfills each year, costing us billions in transportation alone. By being better stewards of the world we live in, we are now helping to reduce landfill waste, disposal costs, energy demand, reduce our ecological footprint, reduce soil erosion, diesel emissions, and reduce waterway pollution. All this while improving soil health and fertility. And we're creating green jobs. It's a simple approach that emulates nature's regenerative model, extending the life cycle of previously discarded food by recovering the energy and nutrients embedded in food products. Now that we have an overview of the system, let's go take a look. Here in the laboratory and control room, we monitor the entire biological and mechanical processes at this facility. To do this, we have our laboratory procedures, which allows us to monitor the biological health. We also have our feed proprietary software, which allows us to monitor the electrical and mechanical processes at the plant. All of this goes on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, either on-site or off-site by our remote professionals. Now that we've seen the laboratory, let's go look at the feedstock. All of the food from the stores that cannot be sold or donated is brought back here to the distribution center. We collect it in our sanitary containers and introduce it into our blending system. Behind me is our dilution system. The purpose of the dilution system is to take all of the highly concentrated wastewater from the adjacent creamery, collect it, heat it up with the heat from the micro turbines, and then pass that through to the blending system. Let's go have a look at the blending system. So now that we have our dilution water heated and stored, it's time to take that feedstock and load it into this system. The purpose of the blending system is to remove all of the inorganic components that we don't want in that organic milkshake. Things like glass, metal, peach pits, all of that is removed on this front end process. Now that we have that clean milkshake prepared and it goes to the digestion process, let's go take a look. Coming out of our blending system, we have a very clean organic milkshake. That milkshake is introduced to our anaerobic digester behind me. This digester is an oxygen-free environment full of microbial biomass where we're taking the organic components and breaking them down into biogas. 
To do this, we have an oxygen-free environment that is maintained at the critical temperatures and mixed properly so that it is an efficient and clean process. As we add the milkshake to the digestion process, we need to displace that water somehow. The way we do that is through our purification process. The purification process has a perfect mechanical barrier that keeps behind all of our microbes and all of our organic material for digestion. What passes is a water. That water represents a drastic improvement in quality than what was previously disposed of by the adjacent creamery. Now that we've talked about the purification, let's go check out biogas. As the biogas bubbles up through the reactor, it is collected at the top and taken to these blowers here. The gas comes in at less than one PSI and is compressed to five PSI. From that point, it is sent over to our compression skid where that five PSI gas is compressed further to 90 PSI and all of the impurities are removed. So all of the biogas that we produce from the digestion process and send over to the compression skid goes to two places. First are the micro turbines. Second here are to our boilers. These boilers produce all of the heat and steam needed for the adjacent creamery. 95% of all of the energy consumed by these boilers comes from the raw material that we bring on site. Now that we've looked at all of our biogas operations, let's go look at fertilizer. So in our feedstock, all of the carbon is converted into biogas through the digestion process. What remains are the nutrients and minerals in that feedstock. To get that material out, we actually use this centrifuge here to concentrate that material and put it in a form that local composters can use to then send out to landscapers, farmers, or homeowners who have a beneficial use for that fertilizer. And with that, that concludes our tour. Thank you for letting me show you around. By looking for new and better ways to use our innovative technologies, Kroger, Ralph's and Food for Less will continue to lead in the supermarket and food distribution industries. The Resource Recovery Project helps us maintain our lead in the industry and gives us a distinct innovative advantage over our competitors. It enables us to share significant environmental and economic benefits with our customers and our community.